Welcome to Wildlife Wanderings. I'm Andrew Wegener. I love to get out in the outdoors and to nature to see what we can find. Whether it's in a local park, down here at the beach, or in a nature reserve, or even overseas. It's great to see what we can find that God's made for us, and we're going to see what we can find down here today at the reef. Let's go and have a look. Now we've just found a great habitat for a, a rock pool area. Now basically a habitat is a home for different types of creatures. You've got seaweed, you've got rocks, there's fresh, a lot of tidal water coming in and out all the time, so everything's quite happy, but just by rolling a few rocks, sometimes you can find a whole community. Check out what's under this one. Oh, here we go. This is a relative of the sea stars. We just found the sea stars before. Check this crazy looking creature out. Now, you might think, well, what have we got here? This is a sea cucumber. Now, sea cucumber is related to the sea urchin family and also to the sea stars. And what it does, sucks in bits of sea life that wants to eat through here. Looks like a big sausage. Some countries, they actually eat them, but this is a creature that'll suck up whatever goes through, so it'll be quite an unclean thing to eat. And if you press them too hard, which I'll try not to do, they actually can defend themselves, not by biting. They don't sting, haven't got any teeth, but they shoot out their intestines and it all comes gooing out of one end, and that puts off the predator and then they have to grow another set of intestines, which is a pretty bizarre way of looking after your body, just so you can survive. This is quite a small one. Up north in Queensland, you get some really big, fat, black looking ones, but this is still a nice specimen for here in Victoria. Wow, look at that. What I might do is try to get one of these snails off, and I'll give you a good look at it. I'll just put it down, that rock's a bit heavy, but check this out. It's one of your mollusks, which is called a black elephant sea snail. Looks like a big black blob to most people, but you've got this really hard shell on top, which protects it, and underneath, you have this sticky foot. Now, they're not venomous at all, not poisonous. Some of them give off a bit of ink sometimes when you pick them up. This one's quite safe to hold and to manage and look after, and sometimes you find this empty shell washed up on the beach when you're beach combing, which people collect. Yeah, she's magnificent. These are actually related to snails, slugs in your gardens. And they're just feeding on seaweed and algae just underneath the rocks. So I'll put these little guys back where they should be and we'll see what else is under here. Because like there's a whole community of sea life just underneath this one rock. There we go. 